Utility is a concept used by economists to help explain the decisions made by consumers. The basic idea is that utility measures the amount of satisfaction or benefit a consumer receives by purchasing a product or service. This concept combines both the direct benefit the consumer receives and the cost required to make the purchase. However, the units used for utility do not have a fixed meaning. In some cases, Using a dollar value makes sense. In other cases, a generic number is used with generic units. In all cases, utility is not something that can be measured directly. Instead, it is typically inferred by using the economic theories based on utility and related things that can be measured, like decisions consumers make for how much and what to purchase. The general assumption for theories using utility is that consumers make decisions in order to increase their total utility. While this is the consumer's goal, the result of any particular decision can increase total utility, decrease total utility, or not affect total utility. Utility can be used to reason about consumer decisions for a single product. In this case, the decisions revolve around what quantity of a particular product the consumer wants to purchase. Typically, the total utility versus quantity will have values that follow the pattern shown in the graph. Initially, the consumer's total utility from the product is zero because nothing has been purchased. When the first purchase is made, the utility increases rapidly. For this imaginary product, the first item increases the buyer's utility from zero to ten. Then, the next item purchased increases the person's total utility to sixteen. The third item increases the total utility further to 18. After this, the total utility does not increase with more purchases. The fourth item gives no change. Then the fifth item actually decreases the total utility to 16. A sixth item causes a further decrease to 14. From an economist's point of view, buying items 1, 2, and three make sense because they all increase the total utility for the consumer. Later purchases do not make sense because they do not increase the utility. This process can be described using marginal utility, which is the change in the total utility with the purchase of one additional item. So following the purchase history, the marginal utility for the first item is 10. The next purchase increases the total utility to 16, so the change is 6 making the marginal utility of the second item 6. The marginal utility of the third item is 2, increasing the total utility from 16 to 18. Then, item 4 has a marginal utility of 0 because the total utility does not change. Finally, the marginal utility of the last two items are each negative 2. Utility can also be used to reason about decisions involving multiple possible products. Consider two products A and B with total utilities for the first five items given in the table. Assume that the purchase of product A does not affect the utility of product B or the other way around. This means the table does not change with each purchase. The marginal utility of each product can be used to predict the consumer's purchases. For the first item, Product B has the highest utility of 12, so the consumer would buy product B first. For the next purchase, choosing product A will give a total utility of 10 plus 12, or 22. Choosing product B would give a total utility of 17, so the second item purchased should be product A. Choosing product A for the third item will give a total utility of 16 plus 12, or 28. This is higher than the total utility of choosing item B next, which would be 10 plus 17, or 27. The third item purchased should be product A. Choosing product A for the fourth item gives a total of 20 plus 12, or 32. Choosing product B gives 16 plus 17, or 33. Thus, the fourth item purchased should be product B. As you can see, the repeated addition required is a bit tedious. This process is easier to reason about using a table of marginal utilities. Each decision is made by choosing the product with the higher marginal utility. So, the first item purchased should be product B with the marginal utility of 12. 
Then item 1 for product A has a next highest marginal utility. The next largest marginal utility is for item 2 of product A. Finally, the second item of product B has the next highest marginal utility. For these two products, the utility did not change with each purchase. In the case of multiple related products, the purchase of one item can influence the utilities of another.